Hey guys, welcome to Great Learning. Have you ever been in a situation where interviewers ask you to tell them more about yourself and you seem to be in deep waters and you don't know how to approach this question? Or maybe you are looking forward to learning how you can give a crisp and a concise answer to the question, tell me about yourself, right? Well, it becomes very, very important that you are absolutely on point, especially when answering this question. There are many, many important pointers that you'll have to keep in mind. And this is exactly what we are going to take a look at in this session as well. An ample amount of information will be provided for you to assess not only how you can answer this to the best of your ability, but also providing really vital information that's necessary. Well, with that, I know you guys are super excited to get started with this. What are we waiting for? My name is Anirudh. Now, let's get started. Since you're starting this video, you are clearly preparing for your dream job. So before we get started, I have something exciting for you. If you are finally a student or a fresh graduate with less than one year of job experience, Great Learning brings you this unique job readiness platform called Career Plus, where you can apply to 400 plus corporate hiring companies. Sounds exciting? Complete this video and check out our platform Career Plus, where you can quickly take a job eligibility test pass it and apply for the relevant jobs. If you do not score well, don't worry, we have your back. You can prepare from our specially designed courses and take the test again to improve your score before applying to jobs. More than 500,000 students from 2000 plus top colleges chose us and secure jobs paying up to 10 lakhs per annum. So why wait? Check it out and join for free today. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, I want to request you to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. This is done to make sure you do not miss out on any of the new updates or video releases from Great Learning. And of course, guys, if you enjoy this video, show us some love and do like this video. Knowledge increases by sharing, right? So make sure you share this video with your friends, colleague and everyone who can make use of it. And at the end of it, make sure to comment on the video if you have any queries or any suggestions and I'll be more than happy to respond to all of your comments. Now, first thing that's most important is tell me something about yourself. That's the question that all of us face and not most of us know how to exactly answer this particular question. It can be asked in various ways like, you know, why don't you introduce yourself to me? Uh, you know, uh, tell me a little bit about your background, your career history, your experience. There are various ways to answer the same question and that is what it means. Now, let's understand what is the purpose of this particular question. The purpose of this question is that every interviewer knows that interviewees in general, especially college freshers and young professionals like yourselves, are going to be very nervous and not very confident and hassled and you know you just perhaps landed you had delays and you're not perhaps in the very positive relaxed frame of mind so this particular question is to uh, make you very comfortable because this is ideally supposed to be one of the easiest questions to answer because you're talking about yourself and that's it and ideally there is no preparation required to talk about ourselves but that's a myth you need to prepare it sets the tone of the uh, uh, you know the rest of the interview so the uh, first 10 to 15 seconds uh, it will decide it will create a mental perception in the mind of the interviewer whether they want to know more about you or they are done and they do not want to. The rest of the interview is going to be just a formality because they're you're sitting there in front of you or they're just going to give you a second and a third chance to prove yourself. It determines what you say in this particular answer. The answer to this particular question is going to determine the next set of questions that you're going to be asked. Now, can you ask me why? Why? Because a lot of times it happens, it's very unfortunate, but a lot of times it happens that the actual interviewer whom you have an interaction with has perhaps not had time to view your CV or your resume. Or even if that person had a look at your resume, say a week back when they fixed the appointment, he doesn't remember what exactly you have mentioned and he may not want to put that, uh, you know, so much of mind into seeing. 
so he is going to determine what to ask you next on the basis of the answer that you give in this particular question so how you end it so if you say that you know i was a basketball player or uh, i have experience in digital marketing i run my own food blog i have my own youtube channel whatever you say there are going to be um, uh, most likely questions on that particular thing all right it of course introduction is your elevator pitch where your advertisement where you talking about your skills and attitude and your communication skills are also going to be judged in this particular question myself pratik i am from uh, so and so village my father's name is uh, ashok gupta my mother's name is madhu gupta my father is a government servant we have six members in our family my brother is 15 years old my sisters are uh, you know pursuing graduation from so and so college i did my school from this and this uh, university my school is located in patna bihar my college name is so and so gupta again my subject was this and this do you think this is a good introduction and i am sure all of us a lot of us not all of us a lot of us actually start our introduction exactly in this manner i uh, it may look like okay does that really happen but trust me you initially when you'll go into the introduction in, in the interview room and if you're not prepared this is exactly how you're going to answer now tell me what can be done better what do you think is uh, not right about this particular quest uh, is this particular introduction okay so interviewer has no uh no no uh interest in knowing all of this he wants to know whether you have the right skills and the qualities so first bonus tip that i want to give you before we come to the actual bonus tip is always answer questions in an interview thinking about what the interviewer wants to know and what is he judging about us he wants to know our skills our attitude whether we are the right fit for the role or the organization or not are these things that i'm going to say going to uh, you know help that interview you have to help the interview the interview is all about helping the interviewer to understand convince him that you are the right fit for this particular role okay so this information is not going to help the interviewer in any way never ever start your introduction with the word myself myself mishti or myself shashank or myself anybody is the wrong way it's wrong english always say your name as my name is this and this and i am mishti okay all right now uh, can you tell me one thing should you start your introduction with your name or not tell me that okay tell me whether you should start your name with uh, introduction with name or not that uh, let me see your answers and then i will tell you what is the right way now how to have a good introduction and what is the framework to have a good introduction there are three things that you should ideally have in any introduction please remember there is no perfect way always what we are going to talk about is a standard approach you can sometimes choose to add some things extra that you feel is going to really uh, you know help your introduction be uh, different and very impressive and amazing and you can remove a certain things as well if you feel it's not relevant anymore okay ideally in a standard format you should talk a little bit about what you were doing presently whether you're a student a college graduate pursuing some masters you've just recently graduated what you are doing or you are in a current role or in with an organization you're pursuing an internship what do you currently do what is the scope what are the scope what are the roles and responsibilities of what you currently do so for example if you're a college student say studying commerce because i was a commerce student so i'm just talk taking that example i can talk about it so you can say i'm currently pursuing my undergraduate in commerce or i've just recently taken my final year exams um in bcom honors and uh, you know i thoroughly enjoyed these three years of my lives and i particularly enjoyed studying financial accounting or marketing and whatever whatever and during these years i've done so and so things your accomplishments in that current period then you can talk a little bit about your past so three years maybe a little bit of schooling achievements again previous relevant experience what made you come and reach where you are currently and 
end your introduction with a little bit insight into the future like you know currently you're here and now you are absolutely ready to uh, join the industry the marketing industry or the financial industry or whatever industry you're becoming part of the data science or the software development in IT industry and uh, you're looking for exactly the kind of role that the company offers you and I believe I have the right skill set and I'm thoroughly excited you know for this particular opportunity and that's about it okay. if the interviewer first greets you with your name if he says okay hey Pankaj how are you please come in then you are and then he says tell me something about yourself Pankaj then you are not going to start your introduction with I am Pankaj because it it is silly it it means that you did not pay attention to what the interview is saying he already knows your name why are you going to introduce with your name again i i bet you haven't thought about it ever before did you think about this before or not okay let me uh, please let me know did you know this or not if they have already addressed you with your name then you will not mention your name again in the introduction only in a scenario when you have not uh, had any conversation or your name has not come up in the conversation at all would you start with your name in the introduction because that means that perhaps the interviewer doesn't know and of course as lot of you have mentioned um, as a lot of you have mentioned we must of course the first thing that we start our int uh, interview with is a greeting a very very vivacious and energetic greeting like how I greet all of you very very warm welcome um, not that energetic but yes a genuine positive greeting is extremely important because you are responsible to bring positivity freshness a positive energy into the room along with yourself and ensure that the interviewer is forced to take notice and gets interested to know you gets interested to have an interaction with you that is extremely important okay now what are the various components of a self-introduction name is a question mark I told you optional depending on what the situation was you can briefly touch upon where you're from again all these things depends on whether or not you think it is relevant how many uh, things you have to say you have to talk about in your introduction if you have too many things then you can skip one or two things because you can keep that for a different question or if there are very little things then perhaps you can talk about it in a very very chronological ma matter touching upon each and everything and tell I am telling you with a little bit of practice with two to three interviews four five interviews when you give you will be able to yourself understand what works and what doesn't work for you in an actual interview I don't I hope you don't have to give four five interviews I hope you get shortlisted and selected in the first ever interview you have but yeah that's life okay so from where you're from what your education background is what are your accomplishments when it comes to academic or extracurricular or in your personal life in general what are your trainings that you have had what kind of skills you've acquired throughout your you know uh, perhaps later years of school in your life in general your college years your post graduation years all of the kind of skills that you have acquired your internships your experiences again there also you have to talk about any achievements if you had what was your role what was your contribution what skills you acquired if there are any uh, uh, more interesting traits and unique qualities about you that you really want to mention and you don't want to miss the opportunity to do that add that again certain passions and interests especially those who attended my yesterday's session I gave you a bonus tip what was the bonus tip I gave you a bonus tip that uh, that 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 I gave you a bonus tip that you must find similarities between the interviewer and yourself and common connections right so if there are any common things that you found that you both you and the interviewer shares you can mention that in the introduction just to build that personal connection and personal bond and a repo with the interviewer and in the end you can close with why are you specifically interested in this particular position and why do you think you will be a good fit in the organization now sometimes this can be very lengthy sometimes you can choose not to include in the introduction sometimes because if you feel if you don't have too many other achievements and accomplishments to talk about then you include it in the introduction itself so while first example on introduction is right here in front of your screen let me read it out to you I may make some changes while I'm reading it out okay so it says for example 
Um, hi, I'm Pratik. I'm from Panipat and uh, a small town in Haryana. I pursued my graduation in commerce where I particularly enjoyed studying about financial marketing and management. During my college, I was uh, I scored an 8.8 CGPA and was in the top 5% scorers of my class. So he's giving a little bit about his achievements. I realized that I'm passionate about pursuing a career in finance and started reading more and more articles on it. So here he's giving a story on how he developed an interest in this particular industry and what he did. I did a few courses online and learned all about private equity, marketing dynamics, etc, etc. Now this line is added. This line, let me tell you. Laser pointer. Okay, this line is particularly added to just showcase the kind of skills and the kind of learning and education this person, knowledge this person has. Okay, I was also part of various clubs and committees at my college, part of debating society. So, shows that person his extrovert, great communication skills, takes initiative. He was editor of the college magazine. So, perhaps a little bit of leadership qualities as well can work around. Now, I for detail, so many qualities become visible when you say things like that. I participated in multiple inter college debates and writing competitions and even won a few of them. This showcases that I have great communication and writing skills. In my free time, I particularly enjoy reading books on culture and history. So reading, maybe this is something that he found common in between the interviewer. I also love watching some a few crime shows on Netflix. So a little bit of personal touch in the end always you know, makes your uh, introduction much better, far better than somebody else's who is just giving facts and figures. See, remember, storytelling is really, really important. Okay, storytelling is the most important. Okay, so this person says, sure, going back to school, I've always participated in writing and public speaking events. And I was also quite good at it. This made me to pursue my graduation in journalism. It was a great learning period for me academically as well as extracurricular wise. Okay, so he's saying he's telling you what he did, what he enjoyed and what he learned during these years. Then he's saying during my undergraduate, I was leading the debating society and was also editor for our college magazine. Being part of the above made me a team player and also taught me to manage a team. Now here, those who want to showcase their team player skills, you need not mention this. So you can cancel this and you can say that, you know, perhaps you are part of a cricket team or a football team or you play carrot, uh, carom or, you know, badminton or, uh, or uh, anything that suits your profile. These are just examples. You can change everything to suit yourself. Okay. All right. Uh, I finessed my writing skills and also started writing as a freelancer for a couple of websites. So this person is clearly uh, interested in writing kind of roles in which is why he's talking a lot about writing. I recently wrote a few jingles and worked as a freelance copywriter for an ad agency, couple of their clients. This made me realize that I want to build my career in copywriting and gain further experience. See, I was absolutely right. This made me realize that I want to build my career in copywriting and gain further experience, which is why when I came across this opportunity online, I knew instantly that I had to apply. I'm quite excited to start my journey here. All right. Does that make sense? I'm going to give you an ex example of another introduction. This person is born and brought up in Dehradun. I studied in a convent school and it was in my very early years that I got fascinated with technology. So a tech person here. Whenever my family brought home a new device, I was the first one to explore and learn all about this feature. So now this person, by adding this particular line, you know, by adding this particular uh, line here, this person is saying that, uh, you know, how this person is so passionate about technology. I would spend time reading about upcoming technology. So again, passion for technology. Following my interest, I pursued BCA. So telling about education and where from. I particularly found the subjects of computer networks and design highly intriguing. I learned languages. See how that beautifully the person has uh, is telling what kind of languages the person is proficient in. I In my hunger to learn more, I trained on so-and-so skills. I worked on a couple of projects and one of them was shortlisted as the finalist in this competition. Besides my curriculum, now something extra, I participated in various events also pertaining to art and culture. So a little bit different, uh, you know, than uh, 
just professional and academic achievements beside my work i am extremely passionate about playing guitar and it is a great stress buster for me so a very very complete introduction when you're talking about every little aspect of your life you can talk about some of your skills and strengths all right i hope that's making sense all of you okay now let's uh, uh start with this one okay it says i am from kochi kerala i pursued a diploma in nursing from so and so college and went on to do my training in so and so hospital in bangalore i completed my schooling from my hometown itself and i studied in my native language i always wanted to be a nurse when during a hospital visit i came across an extremely warm and jovial nurse which inspired me so here in this the person is basically trying to say that you know how that person got really interested and passionate about the particular position and or profession that uh, you know the person has chosen for themselves now i always took care of my family and was the go so go to person for it so he she is trying to convince how that person uh, you know um, has always be has always had those qualities of a nurse during my training i particularly trained in cardiology department so here this person is talking about which department and well versed with codes i am one of the i am also one of the top performers i am i am sure this person forgot to mention top i am well versed with the art of so and so things and have hands on practice additionally i in thoroughly enjoy playing a game of carrom with friends and traveling so some passions here added as well okay does that make sense everyone i hope that makes sense okay all right guys so i hope everything that uh, was covered in this particular video was clear to all of you all now understanding how you can answer uh, the question tell me about yourself in a crisp fashion should be clear to all of you all at this moment of time right if you have any comments or if you're looking forward for any more help about how you can answer this question to the best of your abilities head to the comment section ask us these comments and we'll be more than happy to help you out on that right okay guys superb so with this make sure you guys are practicing how you can go on to give clear and concise answers Answers. There is no one answer that will work for everyone, as you saw. But there are certain structures and patterns that you can use to answer it in a clear and a concise way. So make sure you guys are using that on all of your interviews going ahead, right? So guys, all the best for all of your interviews. My name is Ander Udrao, and I'll see you in the next one. Since you're starting this video, you are clearly preparing for your dream job. So before we get started, I have something exciting for you. If you are finally a student or a fresh graduate with less than one year of job experience, Great Learning brings you this unique job readiness platform called Career Plus, where you can apply to 400 plus corporate hiring companies. Sounds exciting? Complete this video and check out our platform Career Plus, where you can quickly take a job eligibility test. pass it and apply for the relevant jobs if you do not score well don't worry we have your back you can prepare from our specially designed courses and take the test again to improve your score before applying to jobs more than 500000 students from 2000 plus top colleges chose us and secure jobs paying up to 10 lakhs per annum so why wait check it out and join for free today If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, I want to request you to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. This is done to make sure you do not miss out on any of the new updates or video releases from Great Learning. And of course, guys, if you enjoy this video, show us some love and do like this video. Knowledge increases by sharing, right? So make sure you share this video with your friends, colleague, and everyone who can make use of it. And at the end of it, make sure to comment on the video. if you have any queries or any suggestions and i'll be more than happy to respond to all of your comments